Hello everybody, uh, welcome to I Read Sometimes. <laughs> Today we are going to be covering a book called, this book, called um, Little Sons. Um, it's written by Zeg Simda. And uh, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to read certain inserts that I uh, wrote in a book journal. Firstly, and then second of all, I'll cover certain elements um, that the book covers sort of the story and then I'll cover how I felt about it and I'd highly advise keeping a book journal in 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 your reading journey and I heard this from a video by Usiand I think I'll link the video down below but it's an excellent video on um, how to get into the groove of reading or getting back to reading and if you don't know who Sianda is she's the girl who started the twitter thread Eti if Africa was um, a, a bar. So please check her out. Love her so much. Let me read on the little synopsis about the book. Uh, so this book is about Umalangan. That's the main character, who is a guy that we're following. Um, he's King Mshantlo's brother. And it's a sort of coming of age uh, book. It is historical fiction. It is set around the eight, late 1800s, and early 1900s. Um, and it touches on colonialism and love. It is set in two major places. It is firstly set in Esulengam, Kukum, which is a town in, in Eastern Cape. And it's also set in Lesotho. Uh, so yeah, this is Malangana's journey of coming back home and, um, and re being reunited with his love, basically. Let us start by first impressions, the cover. It is green which is an automatic win for me but besides that the cover has really nice illustrations for example there's a sun here there's um, a cow and a horse there's a snake there's like little stars and a lot of other in animals and you might think that this is just a random illustrations but as you read the book which is a nice touch of it as you read the book everything in this cover sort of uh, relates to the story and it's a really really nice touch um Starting with these sons, um, the main character is called Malangan, ne? and uh, that's Kosa, and it's, if you translate it, it means little sons, um, and that's how he actually meets the love of his life, Umtwagaz, which is a woman, I'm not sure if she's San or, but a, 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 an indigenous woman, a 268 pages book, it's not a big book, but it is a slow burner, I don't want to lie, and the chapters of it, one thing I like about it, Jay, just on still the first glance, the chapters are not like chapter one, chapter two, two. It's sort of like little letters and the chapters are titled by the date, which is like nice. It's sort of like a diary entry. I don't know if you can see that, but it says um, Saturday, September 25, 19, 1880. So that's how the covers are. And one thing about the book is that it jumps between time. So you, you never know what to expect in, the, in, in, the, in a certain cap, um, chapter. First chapter, he's still young. He's meeting Mtwagaz, which is the woman um, that he eventually falls in love with. Um, and then it jumps to him being in a sort of prison. Then it jumps to him being in exile in Lesotho. So it's a really um, captivating book. Uh, let me get to the actual story. Um, it's about Umalangan. I did say that he was the King Klontlo's uh, brother. So King Klontlo was someone who actually existed um, in history. If uh, you didn't know, Ukumbu, the, the, the town in Eastern Cape is named after, the, the local municipality is called King um, Klontlo municipality. Covers uh, his relation to his brother and his relation to a lot of people um, in his nation and colonialism. And it covers them going to war. It covers um, him having to sort of leave his love behind and leave his people and um, behind to go into exile in Lesotho. It covers and he, it covers um, his life in Lesotho and him like not wanting to get married and stuff because he still has Mtogazi in his heart. And it does give a lot of back story to a, a lot of things that we know. For example, it gives, um, if you know, there's, what I said, there's a, a tribe called the Mvengu people. It does give a sort of explanation that Mvengu means 
uh, refugees. So those people were refugees. It gives history on uh, a certain clan, Ogutongu, Tolelum Twagaz. There are Kosa people who have that clan. It gives a, a history on why the, those, that, what that clan name means. It gives history like um, certain things that Amakhanise, which as I think geese, we're not there. It's not uh, an original Eastern Cape or South African thing. It came with the people. Um, it came with the people who basically were colonizing and people started to breed and to... What's this? Ukfuya. Kuten ukfuya, guys. To keep animal husband. To keep uh, geese. So it does give like certain nice elements of, of history and and into that. So my experience of reading this book... I always struggle with third um, books written in third um, person because I don't really relate. It's like you're telling me a story, but I'm not in the person's brain. But I see the beauty in it. And I also struggle because Malangan is a man. So I'd be like, I question his decisions. I wouldn't relate to him. Um, but it, it it is a beautiful journey. And you always, I was left wondering, Guba. Shame, doesn't he regret going into exile? Because he goes into exile for 20 years. And I'm thinking, if I had to go to exile for 20 years, like, how how would you feel? Uh, is that life wasted? And he didn't seem regretful. He didn't seem like he was just happy and wanted what he wanted. So props to him for that. It's certainly interesting to relate to because it's certainly a different time. But I loved... Um, being in that specific time I like yeah yeah I think my final final words um, about this book is it's an excellent book it's a great book I enjoyed reading it it certainly leaves you with an experience and one thing about Wuzigs he is a, a, an intentional writer like you can see the efforts and that he, um, he took some time on this book. Uh, it it is a, it's an amazing book, and I'd recommend that you read it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining me in this uh, discussion or review on uh, Little Sons by Zeksinda. See you on the next one. Bye.